Welcome back everyone to Poppin' Often with Often. Today, 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 I'm going to be showing you where to find clay and ore. We're going to discuss clay locations, we're going to discuss copper ore locations, we're going to discuss iron ore locations, and of course the infamous Palian ore locations. I spent hours and hours pouring over the map and I want to share my knowledge with you. So hopefully there's a lot of spots in here that you didn't even think about. And if there's any spots in this video that I didn't mention, please let us know in the comments below. I will also have the screenshots of all these locations in my Discord. So stop on by, pick yourself up a map, and go ahead and farm these ores. Let's hop into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is clay. Where to find clay? So clay is actually located in this spot. There are other spots too, but this spot is where you'll find most of it. So if we start here at Fisherman's Lagoon and we go all the way up until we see the uh, Griffin Gillyfin Cove. I don't know why I said Griffin. Gillyfin Cove. That's where all the clay ore is. Now I'm not going to walk the entire line, but I do want to show you just kind of a little bit of it. Um, there was some clay ore here, but the guy took it. He just like walked by as I was doing my intro and he took it. But if you run across this line, you'll, you'll start to see um you'll start to see the clay ore and so i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going and this spot is great because you'll also be able to see copper ore as well as you pass through this area so it's like a double farming type of area you also have fauna you also have animals so you can get a lot done you got bugs you can get a lot done from just walking up here and looking for it again there were some there was some when i walked up but i don't see any more now oh there goes one right there and it's usually littered with it the longer the day goes on, I notice the less resources there are, so try to get in early. But for sure, this is where you want to go to get your clay. All right, now let's talk about copper ore locations. Now, copper ore is generally scattered around the map, but I found a surplus in these locations that I want to share with you. So we have copper ore in this location right here on this little island, as well as along this wall. That's copper location number one. So I'm going to walk with you guys. I'm just going to show you where I usually find the copper ore in this location. Um, let's go ahead and jump across. Like I said, there, there are some spots over there as well, but I want to really just kind of hone in on the location around this spot. So if we walk, you see there's some right there. And there's also some right there. And there is a ton along that wall. There's, there, there's a ton along this wall. Like a ton along this wall, as well as in this area where you see these two rocks here. So this is location number one for copper ore. Again, all these maps, and I will have it circled. All you have to do is take a look, and you'll know exactly where to find all the ore. All right, so with copper ore, it's kind of scattered around the map. But with iron ore, it's a little bit more specific. And with paleon ore, it's incredibly specific. So you won't be able to really find these ores unless you come to certain spots. Again, if you guys have your own spots, let me know if I missed them. Uh, let people know in the comments that they can find them. But for the most part, when it comes to iron ore and paleon ore, you're not going to just find them lying around anywhere. So the first spot for the iron ore is here. And it's at Pulse Water Plains. It's going to be both of these lumps right here. Both of these mountains. <laughs> is it lumps? <laughs> Pulse Water Plains has a lot of iron ore. And let's see if we can come across some. Ooh, I think I just saw one. It's over here. So here's one. Right? And it's not going to just be on top, but it's going to be on the sides as well. I'm not going to just walk around the entire thing. But if you're on top of that or around that one, or you come to this one and it's around or on top, you will definitely find your iron ore. These two locations are really great. I guess this is one location. This location is really great, but it's heavily populated. And so I have another spot that I would like to share with you because this one, again, is heavily populated. You might not get as many iron ore as you would like. So let's move on to the next location. So the next spot for the iron ore, and this, is, this isn't as heavily populated of an area, but it's still populated, is right underneath the post water plains. So it's right here, and it doesn't have a name. But that mount right there, that mountain man, it has the good good. Let me see if I can find any um, just kind of walking up. So there's iron ore right there, right? And you can tell the different types of ore based off the color. So copper ore is going to have like a bronze look to it uh, or, or copper. <laughs> um, with iron ore, it's going to be more black. With paleon, it's going to be blue. So that's how you know which one it is. If there are no color to it it's just rocks and i don't recommend hitting it unless you need to all right let's talk about the big kahuna the big elephant in the room probably the main reason you're here paleon ore now to get paleon ore there are multiple locations i'm going to start with the most common and then we're going to hop into the secluded ones the ones you might not know about so the first one right here is at thorny thicket this is the most common one you'll see players running in and out of here and you're most likely not going to get any iron ore within here unless you're extremely lucky for the most part you're going to get rocks 
So there's a spot if you guys want to check, but for the most part, nine times out of 10, you're probably not going to get anything because a lot of people raid that area. Let's move on to the spot number two. All right, so the next spot I want to talk about is going to be Pavel Mines. Now, there is a little bit of iron ore up here on this cliff. If you come up, you'll just walk along this little ridge here, and there's iron ore. I just thought I should mention that. I didn't make that a spot location just because I didn't think it was necessary. You'll come across it when you come across it. I want to try to get to the areas that are probably not known. So with this one, once you walk in, you guys might be thinking, well, there's only one. And that ore would be when you walk in right there. And you would have to jump across like this to get to it. You're not wrong. However, you are wrong. Because there's more spots in this cave than you think that house the, um, the Paleum ore. So if we walk around here, there will be Paleum ore kind of littered around this area. And if you continue to walk, there will be more around. And this is like a big circle. So you'd come out the same exact spot that you left when you go there. So just the, the, the rule of thumb here is to check everywhere and you'll be able to find the Paleum Ore. Now there's two other spots within this cave that I do want to share that you guys might not have noticed. The first area will be, we'll jump down here. Boop. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna climb up. What is this spot? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna climb up. If you climb up here and there's a possibility that you'll have your Paleum Ore just kind of littered around the wall right here. So possibility for that. Now I don't know the drop rates for these things because I, I literally only ran into it once or twice and I've been, spent so many hours into this game. But again, you have to look around. There also will be littered here. So you'll see it here in this area as well. You see where you see rocks already. That's usually where the Paleum Orbos will spawn and you'll see it when you come into this direction. So again, search this cave. Don't just look at that one up there and just say, ah, oh, there's none. You'll be surprised how many Paleum or rocks you find when you uh, actually explore this area. So Pable Mine, again, is one of these spots. Let's move on to the next spot. All right, the next location is near Hideaway Bluffs. You'll see it right here. You'll see the cave entrance once you come across. Just walk in and it should be there. Um, now, things look like the ore, but it's not. They're just mushrooms, but they will spawn. Make sure you check carefully because they will be covered by these things, and you may miss it. Even if it's a small one, you may miss it. So make sure you go around, you check around, and you see. Again, this is another heavily populated area, so you might not be able to find the ore that you want. However, the next ones I'm going to share, they're a little less well-known. I mean, I guess after this video, they won't be, but we about to, we about to find some ore. So the next spot I want to show you is actually really, really close. It's literally a few steps away. So you come out of there and it's actually right here. And there's a little hole. You drop down this hole. Ba -ba -boom. And there will be uh, there will be Paleum ore around the walls here. So we would start here and we would just walk down and you'll see some Paleum ore spawn. Um, I, again, this is a spot where I haven't ran into much, but that could be due to people taking it. So I actually don't know how rare this is. You can also drop into this hole if you would like. And you'll find some ore here as well. So again, these spots I've only found it about once or twice. But I highly recommend checking it. Especially if there's not many people already on the server that you're playing. Come check it. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. You will run into some Paleon ore in one of these locations. Now the final spot I'd like to share with you guys is going to be the spot right here. Where this little gray circle is you'll find the Paleum Ore around the cliffs or as you're dropping into the cliff. As you see, there's one right there. So let's go ahead and, and snatch this up. I see that they're waiting for me. They're waiting for anybody else? I don't think so. We're just gonna do it. Um, oh, they were lagging. Okay, so it was just kind of like glitched. They were already hitting it, got it. Okay, because I was like, I didn't see anybody, but you'll find it along the lip of this. And you'll also find it deeper in here as well. So you'll find it along the lips, but if you drop down, you also have a chance of just finding it around this spot. But this was the last known spot that I've seen that I found it. If I have any more, if I find any more spots, I will let you guys know in my Discord. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed guides, tips, just anything paleo. Subscribe so you're notified. I'm just saying, look, I'm saying it over and over because a lot of you guys watch my content over and over, but you guys don't subscribe. And I don't... If you're coming back to me, just subscribe. It helps me out, no? It helps us together. But of course, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want the maps, they are in my Discord right now. Come over. It's there. No strings attached. Just, just grab it. You can go if you want. Don't go, though, because I'm going to miss you. But grab it. And until next time, you know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often. Pull often.